Hi everyone, good morning. So I promised to actually post um, videos about my life abroad and today I am posting about the Oktoberfest event hosted by the Nigerian Society at the University of Dundee and it was such a memorable event so I hope you enjoyed this video. Please stay tuned and watch till the end of this video. So join us later at the foyer. Um, so the essence of today's event is just for us to not just sit down at home and just go on social media and say, Happy Independence Day. We wanted to gather ourselves together, you know, just to reminisce on Nigeria's culture, history, and also enjoy some double fries after mm. this serious part. Um, and also have like a Q&A session just to hear from people who have been here longer than us and if you have questions you can ask them as well and also introduce ourselves so you can see our faces now just in case nigerian independence when nigeria achieved an independence from british colonial rule on the first of october 1960 the prospect appeared promising in expectation for the and there's a reason why i'm saying this and i'm from a place called Omok. Omok. And my people migrated and moved from a place called the Asian Indian City. And the reason why I'm taking you far back is because if you understand your history, if you know where you're coming from, nobody can tell you where not to go and who you're not. So I know me, I understand my history. And Francis DKIJ is from Nigeria and represents Nigeria to the core. And, and my, journey, um, my journey has been a very coast of emotion. Um, I moved here about 13 years ago, um, straight from Nigeria, Lagos. And coming into Scotland, it, it was a shocker because it would test you. But the resilience of being in Nigeria will uplift you. So my tenacity has always been the core principle. And went to uni, I did my first degree. Um, I studied international business and HR. And then I progressed to my master's. And within there, I studied international business. And within that scope, I was the president of the Afro-Caribbean Society. As I said, <laughs> I've been here. I know, I know what I'm saying, I know this. And I ended up being the activities officer for my uni. So, yeah, and after uni, I progressed to my so-called calling. And above all this, I'm an activist. I'm a pan-African activist. I've been doing this for my whole life. And I'm currently a cybersecurity professional and work with one of those big bands. And within that scope, I also work as the director of engagement and partnership for black and sport. I think COVID is the only reason why I started to meet the UK. I 
all of these tests during trouble and COVID, like what um, COVID made us realize that you don't have to physically be somewhere before you leave there and end from there. So at the end of this, based on the experiences, various countries had. I just felt that for my family, maybe bringing my children over here and maybe um, set them, give them a more stable base. That's how we move here. In Nigeria, what are those things that you miss doing and maybe seeing or eating, anything at all? I have said it's very, very I miss Ibiza, the ah. fish. Oh my God, it's now more of you. I miss it. Let's talk to Ibiza this year. Beach. For me, though, what I really miss. Like living back in Nigeria is just leaving your house in the evening to buy suya <laughs> and just have some cold guys with the suya. I really miss that. Yeah. Um, so the yeah, what do you say? I don't know if somebody says it already. What is that? I miss <laughs> the Oman bear of Lagos. <laughs> I miss the area one suya. Is that junction? Is that junction? Is that junction? Like their own business, either while they are still now or after school. So the first tip is research. Not, don't be, don't be not in a hurry to do it. Money is important. So the money is the most important. So the first thing is do your research. Second thing is plan. The third thing is to budget. Make sure that you have sufficient finance to cover the initial period. Your business is grow slowly here. I don't think hammering is possible here. So you're not doing any business, make sure you have some capital. And then the last thing I'll say is focus, be faithful. It's a slow it's a slow group, so there's no steps for me. There's no steps to do. I'm sure that you're on now. It's difficult to enjoy this plan. So just be ready to enjoy it, like a long run, like a marathon run. The data parts are way more difficult. You're getting towards the finish line. Just be ready to enjoy it. You said plan. Research, plan, budget, and your focus. That's it. Um, so, obviously, for you, it's quite different because it's Black and Scott. So, I mean, there's a lot of us here that don't know what Black and Scott is about. So, if you just like quickly share with us what it is about and how students can, not necessarily students, because obviously, I'm sure it's like after being a student, you can still continue to be part of that transfer. So, how can everyone benefit from being uh, a part of that community? Thank you very much. Um, from Black and Scott perspective, uh, we are quite you know, diverse in our ways, in our views. Um, first of all, Black and Scott is uh, a female led, a black woman led organization. And, and, and that's something we applaud. Um, but I know there's a reason why we have got that um, because 
statistics shows mm -hmm. that the black woman has been deprived, uh, overlooked, and underpaid. Mm -hmm. And it's, it's no secret, all of us know that when you go into the workforce, you will see that. Um, but it's up to you to combat that. So that's what Black and Sport is. Um, is. And I'm part of the organization of, for Black people. We figure out the gaps that we face in the workplace, on the health sector, the tech sector, and we find a niche that black people could go in and create and drive the momentum to bring about jobs, to bring about stability for themselves, economical empowerment. So we do all this at the back end of training that we give for upskilling. And, and, and the upskilling comes from my um, project management training, um, cyber security training, um, agile. Anyone knows about agile methodology? Yeah, because these are the things that are moving the digital economy at this point. So you might get all the education here, but when you go there, they want to see you. Those are on training. They want to ask you, do you know how Scrum works? Do you know a project manager? Do you know what this? Is? So what Black and Scott does is understand the gap that we face and use our collective intellectual mindset to obscure us, take us to the organization. And the organization will review our CV, if there's jobs, provide jobs for us. Yeah, that's what we do. So we go to organizations like the other day we were in Sky and in Sky we were talking about how to engage our community. And when we talk about our community, we're talking about everyone. Not just women, not just we're talking about black community specific. We're holding organizations and government for startups accountable for their options. Saying we must be included. We're not saying, oh, we're not included. We know that the right? statistics shows that. The new census shows that. But now we're demanding to be included into the global economy. So that's what we do. And everyone is a member as long as you're black. You don't need to like um, pay or certain fee. No, we just want you to come, go to these organizations with us, be active. And bring your CV, we can review your CV, we can talk about your interest and how we can make you see your best potential. And that's what we do. Myself, I, I started out by more years ago then, but I switched because I joined by Black and Scott. And now I have like skills on not just projects, I have skills on my, uh, my foundations now, which is like cyber security. So having that different very skills would help you navigate this. Because as I said, we would finish here, but the organization is a very, very hard place to maneuver. So you need your community once more. And we are standing as a community to uplift. Thank you for making the agenda look so voluminous. Not just pack it as so very much. And so again, I want to thank you for choosing to be here today. I, I am amazingly overwhelmed. Let me start from the immediate past executives that I am saying in that good number. So at this point, see this guy enjoying like <laughs> David. At this point, it was always like the end of the event, and it was so memorable. It was so interesting. We actually got to catch up with like friends. So this was like I think a chair game, and people kept going round and round, and it was all so memorable. Thank you so much for staying. Please like, share, and subscribe.